was Omid. Everyone say, hi, Omid. Hi, Omid. I am Middle Eastern. Yes, it's true. Don't be scared. I'm happy type. Don't be fucking scared! <laughs> or anything, Jesus! I'm happy type of brown. I'm not scary type. I'm, I'm half Indian, I'm half Persian. The worst I can really do to you guys is like teach you some yoga and take on a magic carpet ride. Okay? You got nothing to worry about, motherfucker. But I've realized recently that I'm accidentally scary. I don't know how I do it, but accidentally I keep getting myself into scary situations. I was on the plane recently, and this lady was like, oh, excuse me, I want to sit next to my daughter. Is there any way you can move to my seat? I was like, yeah, sure, that's fine. I moved to her seat. Then another person came up to me, oh, I just want to sit next to my boyfriend. Is there any way you can move? I'm like, yeah, sure, that's fine. I moved again. Then another time someone else came up to me, oh, you know what, I just fucking did it. And I was like, all right, fine, I'll move again. Someone noticed and was like, oh my gosh, you're moving a lot. And I said, without thinking, yeah, the next time I move, I'm going to be flying this plane. <laughs> they didn't like that. I like to do little practical jokes when I'm on the plane. Nothing serious. I don't bang on the cockpit door anymore because they don't find that funny. <laughs> but little things, like when I'm walking to my seat, I like to turn to somebody and go, I'm waiting for your signal. And then go and sit down. <laughs> I like to wear a t-shirt that says, I love virgins. <laughs> that one's subtle. But if they pick up on it, they're going to be really scared. My favorite thing to do though, when I'm, when I'm at my seat, I like to take a red Gatorade and a yellow Gatorade. Then I like to mix them together, shake it up, press my watch, and then go to the bathroom. <laughs> and like 10 minutes later, I'll come back to my seat and go, no, it's not ready yet. <laughs> I'm telling you, if you're tan, do it. <laughs> You will never feel more power in your life. <laughs> That's what we like to do. Happy brown people, we, we like to just scare white people. It's just a thing we do. We call them... Thank you. We, uh, it's called Code Red. It's a big deal for us. It's like when we become a man. It's a big deal. My favorite Code Red, uh, it happened in New York City. I was coming back from the gym. <laughs> That's right. The gym, ladies. It was the first Monday of the year, that's when I go to the gym. Uh, I was coming back from the gym and I was on the train. I was like, I was gonna, I found my train. I was like, ooh, I'm gonna make you train. I'm gonna get on this train. Swipe my little card, started running towards the train, and then the doors started to close. This is when I decided to use my nice Indian brain right here and come up with a plan. I was like, all right, this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take my gym bag, I'm gonna fling it. <laughs> Some of you have caught on already. I'm gonna take my gym bag. It's gonna get stuck between the doors. The doors aren't gonna close, they're gonna open, and then I'm gonna walk on the train like a boss. <laughs> that was the plan. This was the execution. I took my gym bag, I was running towards the train. In the plan, I was gonna hold on to the bag. But what happened, I kinda let go. And the gym bag went into the train the doors closed, and I didn't make it onto the train. For those of you who aren't following along, a brown guy just ran up to a train, took a black duffel bag, threw it onto a train, and let the doors close in front of him. So now I'm standing outside the train going, ah! Which looks a lot like, Allah, kill them! <laughs> and I was like, oh my god, this is my Code Red. This, uh, code Red's a huge deal for us. Like, our turban gets bigger. We get our first keys to our taxi. It's a huge deal. Huge. 
So now I'm looking at my bag. Everyone else is looking at my bag. They're looking at me. They're looking back at the bag. They're looking back at me. And I was like, oh my God, this is great. So I'm looking at my bag. I'm looking at everyone else. And I'm just going. And then I floated away into the bag. Guys, I'm out of time. That was a lot of fun. You guys are awesome. One more time for all me and Sing, everybody. Love them, man.